Hello everyone, my name is James Hillier. I am an Olympic medal winning athletics coach. I'm currently working as the head coach of the Reliance Foundation Odisha Athletics High Performance Centre. Today, I want to talk about sports periodization and specifically how a sprint athlete will prepare over the full training year. What is sports periodization? Sports periodization is a roadmap to your destination. It's about preparing your engine for the right performance at the right time. It's about managing volume, intensity and recovery over a period of time. Using the metaphor of a journey from Mumbai to Delhi by car, before we leave, we would look at a map and we would plan out our route. We would prepare the car for this long journey. We might change the oil, we might check the tyre pressure, we might look at the engine. It's important that the car is robust enough to be able to handle the long journey from Mumbai to Delhi. In terms of volume, intensity and recovery, the intensity would somewhat be dictated by how fast we can drive the car. That might be limited by the conditions on the road, or how busy the traffic is. The volume would be how many miles we would do in a particular day or in a period of time. And then between that, we would have recovery periods where we might stop to get some food or have a sleep. There are five phases of the training year. Athletes will normally start training in February and March in general preparation one. The main goal of this phase is to get fit for training. So most of the activity is not particularly specific and it's just about getting the body fit and ready for training. In general preparation two, we want to start developing the qualities that we're gonna need in our main competition period between October and December. The specific preparation period, which will be between July and September, will focus on the competition. And in this period, we would start to teach the athletes how to compete better and teach the athletes the skills that they specifically need to compete. During our main competition phase between October and December, the athlete will now start to compete. The early season competitions will act as a rehearsal for the main competitions, which would normally be in November or December. The month of January will be a time to rest and review the season and reflect on the good and bad things that's happened in the year and to try and improve on these things for the new training year. There are five key development areas that need to be focused and worked on throughout the entire training year. The first of these and the hardest and longest thing to develop is technique. Technique is specifically hard to develop if bad habits or bad technique has been fostered from an early age. It's very important that athletes learn good technique when they are young, particularly in the skill hungry years from the ages of 8 to 12. Speed is also something that is hard to develop and this must be worked on throughout the entire training year. However, speed in the general preparation phases would look significantly different to speed in the specific preparation period. Strength, endurance and flexibility must also be worked on. The law of reversibility states that if you do not continue to work on these qualities throughout the training year, any gains you make will be lost. Therefore, it's important that all these five areas are worked on continually through training year, albeit at different volumes and intensities. And I want to talk about each of these development areas specifically and how we would periodize these qualities over the training year. If we look at technique throughout the year, uh, if we look at first general preparation one and general preparation two, we would see that there's three units of technique work in the early parts of the year. This is because technique is very hard to develop and during this period we are trying to build and a technical model and reinforce the technical model that we will need during the main competition phase. 
intensity starts low and throughout the training year it increases to high in the specific and the main competition period. The volume will start high because the intensity is low and as the intensity increases the volume will decrease. Speed over a training year must also be periodized. In the general preparation phase, the intensity and the volume will be low. This is because the body is not conditioned for speed at this period. Our main goal here is to develop the quality of speed of movement and to prepare the body for higher intensity movements that will happen later in the training year. As we develop through the year, like technique, the intensity will increase and the volume will spike the general preparation two and then decrease into the main competition phase. Strength must also be periodized over the training year. In general preparation one, the intensity is low and the volume is high. During this period, we are looking to develop efficiency and safety of movement and lifting. I'm also trying to develop local muscular endurance that will allow us to handle training throughout the training year. As we develop and move through the training year, the main goal of strength training changes from elastic strength development to developing maximum strength to maintaining strength qualities in the main competition phase. Notice the manipulation of intensity and volume through the training year. When we look at endurance, we can see that the intensity moves from low to high through the training year and the volume will start off moderately it will go up to high in specific preparation where we're trying to teach the body to get ready for competition. And then during the main competition phase, we're not looking to necessarily develop endurance or endurance speed anymore. We are looking to just maintain these qualities. I'd like to ask you now three things that you have picked up from the presentation, two things you could plan to do in the next two weeks, and one burning question from the presentation. Thank you very much for listening.